so let's do this. We're going for a ride in Desert Canyons in St. George, Utah. So here we are, we're, we're, we're starting out at the only quote, and I have very big quotation marks here, of the only commercial center here in Desert Canyons. Um, that's the biggest knock I would say on Desert Canyons, is that you are kind of just like out far, really 15 minutes from, you know, civilization, I would say, right? So you have to go for a pretty decent stretch on- um, River Road or Southern Parkway. Or Southern Parkway, right, to get anywhere that has true uh, commercial. There's obviously like a little burrito place in there. There's a cafe. There's a little tiny convenience store, you know, if you need something, you know, Tylenol for your kid or something, right? Yeah, they call this, they call this commercial center Desert Canyons Development. Yeah, not much out here from that perspective. And it's interesting though, because so our business partner, Sue, because she's been here for 40 years, right? So Desert Canyons, it used to have, it used to be cheaper. Like it would be, you know, 100,000 to 150,000 cheaper than what you could get in the city center of St. George. But now just because St. George has gotten so popular and so many people are moving here, that there really is no discount to living out here. So. Yeah, and Desert Canyons is, so they, they don't really have, this is the closest definition that they have to this whole stretch along Southern Parkway. I mean, it's, yeah. so basically once you pass Desert Color, yeah. Then you're hitting Desert Canyons, and Desert Canyons goes, goes past the, the, the airport, kind of goes all the way to, I'm trying to think of what that street is, but like it's it's a ways out. So it's like this huge stretch along Southern Parkway, and it's all this new or newer development that's happening here, and infrastructure is taking place. Like there's a brand new high school that's being built as we speak. It's almost actually done. Well, actually, so they're going to be taking students this fall. Okay, yeah. So, so, it's so basically, open this fall. yeah. So it's basically done. And so they're they're starting to build the infrastructure because there's a lot of homes here that's being that are here already. Yes. And planned. Yes. So before we continue, let's introduce ourselves. I'm Sean Dazad. And I'm Courtney Dazad, and we are licensed real estate agents here in the state of Utah. So if you're watching this channel, you might be thinking, wow, Sean, I love like St. George. I love the Red Rocks. I love the energy. I love the majesty. I can't wait to move out there. But the problem is I'm not local. I'm actually maybe out of state. So I don't know what the first thing to do. And I totally get that. That's why you want to reach out to us. We can have that call. We can be your boots on the ground, find you that perfect property that fits for you. And remember the team that we work with here has over 40 years of experience here in St. George, Utah. There's just so much growth here in St. George. They, they really can't keep up with demand, which is just kind of crazy. Well, actually, so Utah just got named as the best state to live in the United States by us news and world report. So, People are just dis have discovered Utah. <laughs> yeah, and they're, and moving. they're moving here. <laughs> and again, what's great about St. George compared to a lot of other parts of Utah is obviously when you th people think of the Utah, Utah, they think of Salt Lake City. Yeah, rightfully so. It's about three million people. It's the you know where the capital is. All that stuff. Totally understand that. St. George, completely different. We're not you know a ski town. We're not. We're actually on the very southwestern tip, so we're only about an hour and 45 minutes from Las Vegas. So yeah. we have much more of a Las Vegas climate yeah. than, let's say, a Salt Lake City climate. Yeah, like I would say, yeah, our, our summers are very similar to Las Vegas. I would say we're maybe like five uh, degrees cooler. Yeah, a, bit more, a little more mild, but a again, little, yeah. our summers are hot. They're, they're very hot. <laughs> and, and I would say that ours, we're a little bit shorter summer, so like Vegas has a little bit more intense, a little bit longer summer, but really not not it's pretty similar yeah you're we're splitting hairs to an extent yeah. you're not getting a dra dramatically different weather vibe than las vegas so if you think of las vegas weather in general you know that's saint george for you yeah so if you keep driving straight we'll get you to desert canyons elementary school so that is the elementary school that is out here serving this community of course there's also a charter school about uh 10 minutes away um in the desert color community so that's a charter school that is an option. And then about 15 minutes away, there is Bloomington Elementary, which also has a, a Mandarin immersion program. So immersion schools are very popular out here. Uh, we have Spanish and Mandarin and Portuguese. So lots of options in terms of education if you are moving out here with a family. And Southern Parkway is the first exit that, you know, like into, like once you like past Arizona and going to Utah, this is the first exit. So this is the very beginning of St. George. Yeah, so we are, we're pretty much like five minutes away from the Arizona border. So a lot of times, like if you have like a satellite clock or something, it doesn't even know where you are. It <laughs> thinks that you're in Arizona. So it'll give you the wrong time. 
So, yeah. Yeah, just so, so that's so you're aware. Yeah, and we're very close to the airport as well. And the airport actually, structurally speaking, is an impressive airport. It's just that there's not a ton of commercial flight options. But it is getting busier, actually. Yeah. So every time I go out there, uh, it's busier and busier, and they are offering more and more stuff. Like I was saying before, people have discovered Utah, people have discovered St. George, so it just keeps getting busier and busier. And what you'll notice is that in desert canyons, you have a lot of different housing options. I mean, ranch homes, two-story homes, different sizes, two-car garages, three-car garages, RV garages. Like, you have a ton of different options. And these are all, again, very new to brand new developments. And actually, that's a little segue as far as, like, new construction. Um, what we'll say is that whether you work with us or with someone else, you really want a realtor there to help represent you because if you're going directly to the builder... Let's be real. You know they're going to be looking out for themselves first and foremost. Yeah, you you have no representation when you work directly with the builder. So yeah, like Sean said, we would love to represent you, but if even if you don't work with us, like we highly recommend that you work with an agent. And remember, these builders they have in their budget. You know, let's say if you're worried about commissions and stuff, they have in their budget to pay realtors commissions. So you don't have to worry about paying quote unquote extra for commissions because that's part of the builder budget. That's what they're, you know, that's how they kind of, uh, that's part of their marketing budget basically. So, and then what helps too is that we're going to help you navigate all the various, you know, forms and stuff. And on top of that, you know, we're going to recommend you getting a home inspection because I know people think it sounds counterintuitive. You're going, it's a brand new home. Well, there should be, there's like, there's no issues. Right. And you're like, no, in fact, you know, a friend of mine out of state bought us, you know, the really luxury community. So you obviously figure that they would do a really good job with building the property. Like a few months in a pipe bro like burst in his basement, flooded the whole basement. And that, you know, again, and a home inspector may have been able to catch that. In fact, I actually had another, I had a home inspector I spoke to that we're doing, you know, a property, a person brought, a client bought a property that was two years old and he said he loves this age because it's that sweet spot where all the kinks have been worked out whatever it was going to be known is known at this point because it's already surfaced so they have a good idea of what's going on so again you want to have a home inspector uh, check out the property for sure yeah for sure oh and then in terms so this is a driving tour that we're doing right now so uh, our business partner Sue and I, we actually have done a vlog tour. That's where we're like getting out of the car, showing you specific things, you know. So uh, subscribe to this channel so that you can get access to all of the videos that we do. Boots on the ground, we're showing you what it's really like to live here in St. George. Lots of different communities, whether it's older communities, new communities, whatever it is. We're showing you real time what it's really like. Yeah, and also where we're kind of alluding to the whole... <laughs> <laughs> like I was talking about the different size garages. So in St. George, three car garages are pretty popular because people have their toys. They love that. So that third car garage is something you may want to consider yes. if you're, you know, here and you want to take, you know, you want to have room for your side by side or your bikes or whatever that might be. That third car garage is really nice. And then if you're into like an RV, it's like actually our neighbors love their RVs and yeah. these RV garages are just are just massive yeah I mean the, the doors are really high and they're really deep they're pretty it's a pretty amazing space to be able to park your idea like RV and it's you know actually covered yeah so there's the desert there's the one commercial center that we have and so we'll go by the airport and then we'll also show you uh, the high school so uh, that's opening this fall that's right really really close to here so yeah and then just directly ahead of us we haven't gone through there but that's kind of like the older part of desert canyons about uh 10 years old so that is the older side obviously there's ton there's a new construction side as well ongoing development you know tons of it going on right now so we're heading on to southern parkway and like we were saying before i would say like the one knock of desert canyons is like you kind of are just out there right so we're heading on to desert parkway and you can see it's just like you it's more like the feeling even though technically you're only about 15 minutes away from what i would say like the center right or city center or like civilization just because you are kind of you feel isolated i would say that's the biggest knock against it yeah but the good thing is like you, you were talking about about 15 minutes away everything in saint george is about 15 minutes away from each other like it's just an ongoing joke that yeah is, is it's a joke because it's so true i mean everything's about 15 minutes away and that does yeah. play true here even as far out as we kind of seem like we are 
Yeah. If you t- if you put in the in the map, like where are we? Fifteen minutes away. Yeah, for sure. So here we're getting off towards the airport. Yeah. This is a, so this is a regional airport. Uh, you have f- commercial flights that will take you to uh, uh, Dallas, Fort Worth, to Las uh, to Las Vegas. No, no, no it's not Las Vegas. It's so close. Salt Lake City. It's Salt Lake City. Phoenix. Phoenix. Los Angeles, I believe. Is it in Los Angeles? I, I think it does. Uh-huh. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So there's a, there's limited flights, but that's kind of starting to increase because again there's more people here. Yeah, for sure. I will say it's it's definitely like on the pricier side. Although flying to Salt Lake City actually isn't that bad, I hear. Yeah. Well, we've never done it, so. <laughs> yeah. I hear. <laughs> we hear. I'm hearing. I'm hearing rumors. I'm always like, ah, oh, let's just drive because then we don't have to rent a car. <laughs> there is that. That is true. Yeah. So. I mean, it's about you know Salt Lake City is about five hours away, so it's not yeah. that big of a deal. Yeah, and that's the nice thing about St. George is that you're in that Goldilocks zone, right? So you're about five hours from Salt Lake City, an hour and 45 minutes from Las Vegas, and about six hours from, like, is like something like Los Angeles, basically. Yeah. Yeah, it is, that is nice. It's very easy. If, if you have to get around the western United States, it's, it's quite easy. So here we are. We're on Airport Parkway. Yes, heading into the airport. And this is a relatively new airport because it actually used to be in a different location where... Yeah. Uh, you know, where uh, Utah Tech is. No, no where Dixie Tech Dixie is. Dixie Tech is. Yeah, Dixie Tech is a community college. Yes, Utah Tech is actually our... It's a four-year four college. Four-year, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so look at, you can see Pine Mountain. Nice little desert oasis right here. Yeah, and actually just a, about a month ago, this, this thing was covered in snow. Yeah. As far as Pine Mountain, not not here. Oh. But... Uh, Iron Man athlete. We just had the Iron Man on Saturday, so... Another one. Uh, yeah, another one. <laughs> but this one, it wasn't a world championship. So for us, it was, like, not that crowded. So, because <laughs> they, they um, you know, they rotate the world championship, so it wasn't our turn. So. Oh. so it was only a North American championship. Oh, I see. Yeah, and you can see this airport has a lot of, it seems like it has a lot of room for expansion as far as to accommodate more flights. Because it is actually a good airport. It's a nice, nice airport. Yes, it is. So we'll just kind of drive through the front. Let's see if anyone's dropping anyone off right now. Wonder where they're going. True. So it looks like we are actually seeing some people that are going into the airport. I don't know what flight they're doing, but uh, yeah, so the airport is being used right now. Yeah, and as far as like the toys go, I mean, obviously people have their desert toys as far as that goes, but they also have, some people have their little planes. They do, yeah. So there actually, there is a, there's a community in Hurricane, right, that actually has like an airstrip? Yes. Yeah, so if you are a, a pilot and you need a place for your plane, there are communities in the St. George region that have access to private airstrips. So, yeah, or this. Or this, <laughs> yes. This could work as well. Yes. Okay, so we're on Southern Parkway. We're actually exiting River Road. And so River Road here is one of the main, if not the main, commercial slash retail corridors in all of St. George. In all of Washington County, really. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, and as we get onto River Road, uh, we're, you're going to see to the left of us the new high school. So it's like a technical high school that's opening up. So a vocational and technical high school. People have been talking about this for a long time, so it's really exciting that it's opening up. They're taking students right now. And then obviously it's literally like just five minutes from Desert Canyon. So yeah, this is another schooling option if you are coming out here with a family. Is construction considered technical? Because maybe they're gonna hire, have students to do the work for them for free to finish uh, the construction. I don't know. So yeah, it's called the Career and Technical High School. Yeah, so as we go up to the high school, we will show you more of River Road. Career and Technical. Yeah, Washington County School District, Career and Technical High School. Uh, I don't think you can go up this way. Oh, I'm going up anyway. <laughs> but they're uh, building it as we speak, yeah, and taking students this fall. So, yeah, and then we'll show you more of, like, the actual commercial part of River Road as well to show, you know, wh- where you'll do the majority of your shopping yeah, we won't go all the way down, but I mean, it's just kind yeah. of where it starts. And so you have a couple different ways to get to, um, again, to get to your creature comfort type things, like what your daily necessities. Yeah, for sure. So just like about a mile or so up, you start to hit this uh, commercial slash industrial part of River Road. And then actually further down, you go full-blown retail as well. And this thing goes for miles and miles. And 
you actually have like shopping centers, strip malls, and all that stuff. But yeah, this is a lot of, again, commercial slash industrial right here. Yeah. So like Sean said, it's pretty industrial right here. There's actually a brewery that's just right around here. True. Which is kind of interesting. And then people always wonder, you know, they're like, how hard is it to get alcohol in Utah? And it's not like we don't, you know, we have bars here. We, here in St. George, we have bars, we have breweries. Uh, but in terms of, like, buying alcohol at the grocery store, I would say that's the most difficult thing. You can get beer. You can get beer, but anything above 5%, you have to go to a state liquor store. And it is more expensive. It's heavily taxed. That's why so, we have mesquite. Yeah, that's why, so if somebody wants to throw, like, you know, like a big party, like a big holiday party or something, and they want to get a lot of wine or something like that, a lot of times they'll just go down to Mesquite. And, and it's stuff. about 40 minutes away. Yeah, it's in Nevada. It's about 40 minutes away. And then they'll stock up there for their party and then come over here. So, yeah. But in terms of, like, every day, like, if you want to go get a drink at a bar or a brewery, yeah, it's, it's totally possible here. Um, actually, the little downtown area... Uh, downtown St. George, which we do have a driving tour of, so subscribe to our channel. Um, yeah, you, there's several bars and stuff there. Exactly. It's, it's, a, more, it's a growing scene. It, like, yeah. I, back in the day, it was certainly not, but it's becoming more and more, you know, accept, you know under, like, just available. Yeah. And remember, we are licensed realtors here in the state of Utah, so as much as we love making these videos, what we love more is to help you with your real estate needs. So whether you're looking to buy or sell a home, what you want to do is you want to give us a call, shoot us a text, or send us an email. Or you can reach out to us via WhatsApp. However you want to get a hold of us, we've got your back.